Hello everyone, this is Benjamin Ramirez. I'm going to go over um, a game with, it was a group game versus computer, uh, CM, uh, basically candidate master level. It was, um, it's called a Chess 100 app. Um, I'm going to go over the game, and the reason why I'm doing this is for two reasons. Number one, um, I was told it's not using, comp it can't be using competitive play, that it's not, it wouldn't be good enough. And obviously, um, ranking, you know, ELO 2300 is, is, you know, pretty good, I guess. And we've won every time we used it. So, obviously, um, E4, C5, which is a Sicilian. B4, which is considered the wing gambit. Now, if you look at the, um, the bar to the left, or even the point system, right now, white has a 0.56 advantage, which is really small. B4 brings it down um, to a negative 0.5, which is basically a whole point value low. However, after a few moves, it actually isn't really that bad. So maybe at some point it would be um, updated after enough of these. Now, after he captures, I always play knight to f3, which is apparently, um, according to the stockfish, is better than a3. a3 is the move that um, masters normally play. It's called wing gambit. I like knight to f3. It's nice to know that the Stockfish app actually um, agrees. Um, now, knight to c6 is all the variations I've been going through. According to this app, that's the best move. Um, computer play d5, which is another thing I wanted to go over because I was told also that d5 stops all of white attacks. Um, it actually doesn't. It equalizes. So I wanted to show why and what I normally do here. Captures, you know, pretty obvious for me. Um, they have different moves here. You can see, I, I put for always three moves, you know, F6, Queen to D5, and E6. Oh, come on, Skittles. Oh, and um, basically, what I normally see is Queen takes D5 here, which is very normal. I haven't made videos on this one yet, but I will be very soon. I'm doing, um, obviously, the knight to c6 variations. Um, c4 is what I always play here. Every time someone, ha every time the d5 is captured with the e-pawn is c4. Um, that is very normal, and I go here. And basically, I have two developed pieces. It's basically the idea behind it. And with the two developed pieces, he has to move his queen again. And pretty much I can have a third piece developed or move my pawn. So he went here. At this point, the opening is pretty much over. And what I mean by over is it's not actually completely over. But I haven't made anything yet after this. That's why I'm not making any videos on it yet. I'm going to finish my Knight to C6 um, videos first. And then I'm thinking about showing D5 or E6 next. I was told both stop um, white on his tracks, but they both do not stop white on his tracks. If anything, it is equalized at best for both sides, which means draw game. Um, obviously, we don't play draw games. Most people play for win, and every opening is is basically drawish unless you find an advantage. So, um, <coughs> Stockfish here likes Bishop to D3. Um... I, per, I personally like um, queen to b3 is what I wanted to play. Um, the group wanted bishop to b5, and we played bishop to b5, which apparently is better than the move I wanted. So I, I may consider it. There's like, if I keep pressing the up button, there's a lot of different moves that are not a point difference. So there's like massive amount of moves here. So I haven't decided which one I like best. Um, I like queen to b3. That's what, like I said, that's what I wanted. But... Apparently, um, bishop to b5 was a lot better, and that's what the group played, and that's pretty good. So here is bishop to um, b5, and after that, the computer defended um, pretty normally. And here we weren't sure if we should castle or play knight to e5, and when it comes to the engine, um, I still wanted queen to b3. Um, someone wanted a castle, someone wanted knight to e5, and um, we ended up deciding on knight to e5 for attacking reasons. Even though this is a high-level computer, um, we, we enjoy attacking him very much. Um, and that's pretty much what we happened here. And the engine played the best move, knight to f6. 
And here we played queen to f3. So I, I my my queen of b3 never happened. Um, and that was perfectly fine because there's lots of good moves. Obviously, if you look at the calculations in the bottom, you will see that there's different moves that are good and for different reasons. And, you know, you can overview them if you have this app. And um, you end up playing queen to f3. After queen to f3, um, pretty much we're, we're threatening a lot of um, pieces here. And if we decided to capture the um, knight with the bishop here, he can't capture with his knight because of queen to f. Basically, if um I don't want to move, to, actually, you know what? I'm gonna um go over the moves and then I'm gonna go I'm gonna go back and then show moves because I don't want to mess up the order. So after here, he went queen to um c7, which was defending, and the best way to defend. We actually played the best move here, which is d4. He didn't play a6, which is better than anything else. He actually, um, basically he blundered here. a6 was the only move he could play. That was pretty well. So he pretty much blundered. Um, I wanted B, rook to b1. I will show you why. Um, someone in the group wanted a bishop to f4, and someone else wanted to castle. We decided to castle, and one of the members left because they wanted bishop f4, and it was kind of, you know, I guess I, I guess the sessions can be pretty, um, it can be pretty hectic sometimes when there's different good moves. Um, <clears throat> I mean, castle wasn't bad. Bishop f4 wasn't bad. Bishop d2 isn't bad. You're not losing. Rook to b1 is best because you're winning. Um, we castled. And pretty much, um, I'm not. I'm going to go on pretty much he went here. The, um, I'll, I'll show you why I wanted to castle later. I mean, why I wanted rook d1 later. Um... Pretty much it's his move right now. If he didn't have a move, I would have simply captured the knight. I think I can actually show, actually. Hold on one second. Without the castle. I think I can show and be fine. If I went here, for example, and he went bishop to, which is the best move, I would have captured here. He can't capture the knight because of check, and he can't capture the queen. Um, let's say he captured the queen. Let's pretend. Obviously, you lose it with the knight. I see a with the bishop. You're attacking the queen. You know, he'd have to move. And then you basically have a pretty good attack. You know? My idea was rook to d7 here. Apparently castle's the best. Or knight to d7. I was thinking rook to d7. And then if he decided to capture, I would basically get this piece. Um, which is super winning. I did not consider um, knight bishop here. And because I didn't consider it, this is best. Yeah, that's too far in. That would have been, um, we would have probably failed if we did the my move work to b1. Even though it was considered the best move, I think we would have failed now that I see his defenses. Um, unless he would have made it, unless he would have blundered for some reason, you know? Um, so I'm glad I, I went over that. That was the best move, but I did not see. I, I would not have seen that far into it. I had seen a certain part of it, but not completely. So it was a good thing that we played safe. Um, he went here. Then we played rook to b1. He captured, which was a blunder, by the way. He had to, His idea was to castle. He blundered. And um, his best move, again, was castle, which is super weird in his position. Um, the computer does not like to lose pieces at all. So that's like a weakness it has. It does not like to lose pieces or pawns. It is a very, um, it is not good positionally. It is very, but it's very good when it comes to material. So it focuses mainly on material, not position. So that's where we try to beat the um, computer at. Um, Bishop a3 is what we played. Um, it's a very normal move in the in in these games. Either the wing gambit or my gambit, wing, or my variation of wing gambit. Both wing gambits, the main line, and the one that I'm creating. Bishop to a3 is a very normal move when you can do it, because it stops the king from castling. It doesn't always work, but when it's possible, that's that's what you want to do. It, because with all the pieces out. We have a lot of control over the center, and usually it leads to massive um, attacking opportunities. 
um, queen moved here. Um, <clears throat> I moved the wrong rook. Apparently, I was supposed to move the B rook over. I moved this rook over, which, according to this, both actually are just as good. So I'm, I'm glad I didn't make a blunder. I've, I have blundered before when I've heard rook to um, D1 or rook to E8, and I moved the wrong rook there. So I've done that a few times. Um, well, I, I moved so this time it turned out fine. He moved back, and obviously, um, with the opening, it was pretty crushing. Um, it is possible to defend evenly. Every opening is possible to defend evenly. So if someone criticizes and says you can't win, well, that's every opening. Um, but people win and lose all the time because they make mistakes. Um, you just have to find advantages and attacking opportunities. So if you can see the advantage we have here is super awesome. Um, here we played rook to b7. Um, that was what I was best, but apparently queen to b7 was much, um, much stronger. And we slowly um, gave our um, advantage up, slowly. We moved. He captured. Um, I thought about capturing back, but um, one of the members thought it would be better to move here, which honestly is basically a mating pattern. Um, we did not do the mating pattern. We did not see it. Um, I did want queen to see queen to b7, but... Like, I, we probably wouldn't have finished the meeting anyways. Because um, the group is good. But obviously, all of us are under um, master level. So, I think the, I think one of our members is expert. And then, I'm, I think I'm advanced. And a few others are, are advanced there. So, we, um, we try to be a CM computer because that's the best games we're going to get. So, for now. Um... <sighs> We move here, we call it check. It was like a whirlwind attack. He moves, check. He moves, check. Um, not check yet, but move down. Apparently, um, we went from a really high advantage to a lower one by not moving the queen down. I'm glad I see good moves, but I'm I'm not glad that I don't um, finish out my good moves. So I'm gonna have to um learn more um deep calculations because I have pretty good instincts, I guess, but I don't have good follow through. Not yet. I'm still studying and learning, just like you are. Um, he moves up. I we captured, captured, captured. That's check, and we figure we should win here with a piece up. So that's what we ended up doing. So we had like a huge advantage and we gave up that huge advantage for a piece, which um, you should pay pretty much win here. So, but we ended up moving around and slowly, we slowly um, gave up our advantages that we had here. I wanna know when, um, when we messed up, I wanna see. Or if we did it all, I felt like it was very Josh at some point, but maybe it wasn't. Yeah, it wasn't at all. I guess I um, I didn't understand the position fully here, and I was a little confused, and I was worried about it being Josh. Um, and there was no point at all where it was Josh, so I'm very happy about that. So, we ended up winning. And the computer never gives up. Chess 100 app never um, resigns. So you have to checkmate him. He's not going to resign. I mean, I think he has it like once or twice, but it's like extremely rare. Like if there's a chance for a draw, he won't resign. So. And it is possible to draw with a king and queen versus king. If you've ever seen it, you know. So that was pretty much the game. So. It, this is, can be used competitively. It is very. It can be used um, to play. You gain a lot of space and a lot of um, possible attacks here. So, even though in the beginning it shows it down here as a, a basically kind of an inaccuracy or a bad move, if you actually play it out, 
they don't it doesn't it, they never they don't, the advantage that it says it has it doesn't actually stick and um i think that's why this opening never really was developed because after sicilian became really big people had computers and so forth so they seen b4 as a slightly bad so no one looked into it so well until now and it, it does work fine it really really does so i guess i'm gonna um when i do make lines on this this is where i was done at i wasn't fully sure i liked queen to b3 but after this game i, I might actually do bishop to b5 check just because of the amount of attacking that can be done here with this this looks really beautiful so um the group definitely helped me out on that and i really really appreciate that um they do try my openings um they do like it somewhat sometimes and it's it's really good so now that i know how this works i will be looking into the rook to um d1 later you know after rook to d1 Trying to have the best moves for both, so I want to I want to see what happens here. Yeah, this is um. Yeah, this is super complicated. All right, so when I make the opening, I will probably stop. Yeah, probably stop after d4 maybe. I think that would be, and then I'll go over different variations. I think move 10 should be it. Um, apparently a6 is the best move here. I can talk about, here I'll talk about a6 is the best move and then maybe what to do and then I'm not gonna go too far into it. And then after that show why anything else other than a6 is bad and um, show what can happen in each one. So I guess you get a sneak peek um, for, if you liked and subscribed in the past, you get a sneak peek because you get to see this first. I will be sharing this to my Facebook page on my wall and I'll be sharing this in my Facebook group for my opening. So um, I guess you guys get a sneak peek before I actually really um, make the opening out more public. I had it up to um, a few moves back I think up to um, moon number six for both I wasn't sure on the seventh move but this looks really good and normally games help me figure out what is best to play and what's most common and what I mostly see and I guess since um, I've, I've been told multiple times that it's not can be used competitively but if a group of non masters can use it to be a ELO 2300 computer engine then I, I would say it can be used competitively. So um, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And please like and subscribe. I'm going to keep you guys updated on the opening and what I'm doing and how it works and, and maybe even showing more games like this.